time is precious. Um, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Poonam Saigal, and I have the honor of uh, welcoming and introducing our esteemed guest this evening, Dr. Yoken Becker Abel, who's a stalwart in the area of psychodrama. But I'd like to really share a little bit more about his background for you to recognize the richness that he brings because of his vast and varied uh, experience. Um, Dr. Yoken, Yoken, if I can call you Yoken. Yes. Uh, Dr. Yoken has uh, done his PhD in theology and he worked as a priest uh, uh, before, for six years before he came to South India uh, to be an administrator of a village uh, development project. Um, he'd done his postgraduate post studies on work counseling and psychodrama. And uh, currently he owns and leads four training institutions and is an adjunct professor for palliative care, for medical education and for psychodrama. So I'd just like to share with you um, you know, the kind of work that he's done, um, like I said, from 1990 to 1997, he was a priest in Black Forest area. And then he was with the Sri Ramana Maharishi Trust. As we all know, it's a very famous place. And from 2000 onwards, he was a prison counselor and couples counselor. From 2001 till now, he is a supervisor in healthcare He's a palliative care trainer and professor. And from 2008 and currently, he's a psychodrama trainer and professor. He's the director of Veda Drama India, Private Limited, that conducts psychodrama training in Bangalore, Coimbatore, Delhi, and many other cities in, uh, in India. And he has been working in India since 1985. I think he's really part Indian. If you meet him, uh, you realize that, you know, he, is, uh, he speaks various languages. He's very proficient in German, English, Spanish, Latin, Greek, Hebrew, and Tamil. So you can <laughs> well sure imagine how deeply entrenched he is in the Indian culture, particularly in South India. Um, Professor Yod, Dr. Yokin has um, been a lecturer in uh, uh, various uh, universities in Germany as well as in India. He is a speaker at least to three, on, three or four international congresses per annum. And uh, he's a professor uh, with various institutions and universities, educational institutions. To name a few in India, there's one in Mangalore. Uh, he does a certificate course in psychodrama and uh, psychodrama and, psych and psychotherapy diploma in Bangalore University. Um, Dr. Yokan has about 120 publications, international psychodrama series, Springer, he's the editor of that. Um, there's so much to Yokan that, uh, you know, it would probably take half the session to describe a person of his stature and caliber, but I will not keep him away from you. But I just want to mention that I have done two um, workshops on psychodrama with uh, Professor Yokel. And uh, I, I would say that, you know, it, I was mesmerized by the way he conducted this, the workshops with so much ease. And yet, um, you know, it's amazing that uh, you, you when you look at him, you feel it's so easy the way he does it. But it's transforming, at least for me, it was a transforming experience. And if I have to put it in a nutshell, I would say, you know, with his deep knowledge, commitment, and his belief in human humankind, he has had a profound impact on the quality of life of people. I think that's where he makes a mark. And uh, I am confident that today, in the very short time that we have, you're going to have a, a, a great learning experience and it's going to be value adding to you. And it'll probably inspire you to know more about psychodrama and about the work that he does. So a very warm welcome to you, Ken. Uh, thank you for accepting our invitation. We're delighted and honored to have you here with us. Um, I also would like to welcome uh, Pooja Khanna and Swastika Ramamurthy who are 
uh, Yokan's colleagues, and they would be supporting him in um, in facilitating this workshop. Uh, a brief about Puja. Puja is a master coach and psychodrama director with Vedarama Veda India. She is currently head of coaching at Interfit that is involved with upskilling professionals to improve their leadership skills. Puja has vast experience in coaching and has impacted over 3,500 people in group facilitation and one-to-one -one coaching. You won't believe it with, uh, she looks so young, but she's got very rich and immense experience. So welcome Puja and it's wonderful to meet you again. Very warm welcome. Uh, Swastika, welcome to this session. Uh, she is a OD consultant and leadership and uh, diversity, equity and inclusion coach with over 25 years of work experience. She was introduced to psychodrama during her training in process work in ISISD. We were just talking about it before the session started and is currently a fellow of Sumedha's and a trustee of institutions, institution of wholeness and integration. So Swastika uses a lot of psychodrama, her expertise in psychodrama in her coaching and facilitation work. She also trains prospective directors in psychodrama through Veda Drama, which is the organization that she belongs to. Very warm welcome to you, Swastika. Um, Nyoken, Puja, and Swastika, thank you so much for being with us. And we're looking forward to this experiential workshop, which you would be telling us more about as to what you are going to be doing. Yoken, I'm not talking about what you're planning to do. Leave that to Over to you, Yoken. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I asked you all to switch to gallery view and use your chat, which will be most um, easy if you leave the full screen mode, you can use your chat. And I asked Jay to uh, do it and to go to gallery view, please. Yeah. Great, <laughs> wonderful. So 25 to 49 people you can see. And I ask all those who are not on dinner table, you switch on your camera as to courtesy to all the members and for security per, uh, reasons that people feel secure and welcome in this session. Uh, therefore, we need the camera to be switched on most of the time. And please, you also switch on your phone, only if you have children or barking dogs and so you can. Okay, great. So thank you so much, Poonam. So I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, so I'm not accustomed to get introduced uh, as such a long time, but it's thank you and uh, for doing it. And thank you, Jay, for assisting this meeting. My first question, uh, the methodology is called sociometry in, in psychodrama. Who has experienced the psychodrama in training? Please write yes or no in the chat. Just write yes or no. You can see your name, write just yes or no. Who has experienced psychodrama? Yeah. So some have, some have, most don't have. It's an introduction into psychodrama, but it's fine. No need to have. So those who have experienced, please write down the year when you had your first exposure. Write down the year. And if you remember the name of the trainer, write down the trainer. So some, yeah. So it would be very helpful if I'm not in spotlight, please. Uh, I didn't ask for the spotlight. I asked people to have the gallery view, please. Okay, yeah. So, huh. that's me, that's Rashmi, that's 1988, Mr. Pulin Ramesh has 1988, so psychodrama is old, 1977, Uma, great. 2005 or so with Kaushik Gopalan, I have to learn more about Mr. Kaushik. And TT Srinath, 2014. In fact, in 2014, I as well gave my first ISAPS training at, at, um, at Chennai. 
Great. So we have some names here. We have some understanding what psychodrama could be. And the last question I have as a warming up as a sociometry, I ask you all to, to switch on your camera, please. Yeah, it's the interactive workshop and we try to switch on the camera and be active present here, if you can, please. And my last question is, is anyone here available who at least would have a little personal issue because psychodrama is action. We don't wait, we don't discuss. We don't discuss about psychodrama, that would be boring. We go for action. We will have action of psychodrama. You will experience psychodrama. Are you ready for it? Really, are you ready? Oh, I can't hear you. Are you ready yes. to experience psychodrama? You are ready to experience yes. psychodrama. Yes. But yes. We, need people, we need people who will be interested to show. So between zero and 10, what is your wish to expose one of your professional issues here later in the subgroup? Zero means not at all. And 10 means if they don't take me, they will be sad about it. So between zero and 10, yeah? You can have a one, you can have an eight. Oh, so many oh, tens. Wonderful. Yes. So we will have no problem. We have to identify one professional. We don't go into personal issues. And to end up psychiatry issues, we see our therapist after the session, but not during the session. Today we do it for personal, um, professional issues. We have quite a lot of people who would be interested to understand what is psychodrama. Yeah, great. If anyone has um, um, medical reasons or whatsoever, that is fine with me. So now I will give you some idea on the history of psychodrama. And now you can use as you want. Uh, it will take a second because I have two devices. Uh -huh. Okay, this is not fully fine. Let's see if I can do it differently. So now, now it should be possible that you can see it. There's still one second. Okay, great. That is our idea, the history and social impact of psychodrama. On this, we will have another 15 minutes. And what I did first, oh, come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Was a sociometric warming up. Uh, sociometric warming up is we see ourselves within the group of people. So two thirds haven't had psychodrama, one third had psychodrama. We had some names, some remembrance, and everyone had the possibility to share. And you could find out if you want to have a life experience of psychodrama after a while. This is an introduction and this is for warming up. We will have some slides now I think we are still in time, a little bit late, on the history of psychodrama in India. And afterwards, we will have a short discussion, just very important questions. Today, we will not have time to share our lives and to share what we experience with Pulin and so many other valuable people and uh, trainers and teachers. And we will have the introduction in the subgroup work case. Mm -hmm. So we will, I'll give you a short introduction and then we have half an hour to experience psychodrama and we have 10 minutes for conclusions and to evaluate what we have done. Is that fine with you? Yeah? Okay, Ulas, I saw you and it's a non-verbal acceptance. Psychodrama in India is quite old and I tell you nobody knew it. Even I didn't knew it. I believe some people from Chennai, another institute and me, we had been kind of the first who introduced psychodrama to India. But Swastika told me, oh, long back I learned psychodrama. And even some people are longer back. So in fact, Mr. Govinda Sami, when he went to London and to US, he learned psychodrama, not directly from Mr. Moreno, but in London, there had been a psychodrama stage from 1952. In 1954, he was the founding director of Nimhans, and he explained in books and talks 
that there should be psychodrama uh, available for uh, the patients. And he has built this, uh, this place, which is called Arts Theater at Nimhans. It's still available. You see the old picture down to the right and the new picture with the glass frame of the modern clinic just behind it. It's a very small, small place. And there's a stage, the same kind of stage Mr. Moreno had in Beacon in uh, near New York. Zosiometry was the first which came to India. In 1958, uh, Professor Prabhu, who was interlinked to different universities, published in Telugu and later in English language about the, uh, in the Indian Journal of Social Work about what is sociometry. In the beginning, psychodrama had not been that what we know psychodrama to stand for, to be a therapeutic issue. It was more social work oriented. It was more sociometry. That is what we call matrix now in companies. That is very much that what psychodrama was doing in the beginning. And in the sociometric reader, uh, there was uh, some universities and some issues um, compiled by Mr. Moreno in 1960. And that is long before Puti, uh, Putin. Yeah? That is long before any one of us even started to study. Mr. Prabhu was invited on a military conference in uh, quite long back in, uh, in, uh, in, in India, and he spoke on sociometry and the use of sociometry in military. And Mr. Parekh, who knows quite well, uh, whom you know all quite well from IMA, and he was one of the um, formers of tea groups in India, he met Mr. Moreno directly. And in 1961, he wrote a letter to Mr. Moreno that he was very impressed by him. So in fact, what happened is that I went to the Boston Library uh, of, um, of uh, Medical um, History Library, and there are thousands and thousands of papers and letters Mr. Moreno and Mrs. Moreno wrote or they received. They are all there. And somebody guided me there and told me, when you want to know about history, do a study and go there. So I went there and took, took photocopies and uh, it's all about to be published soon within a book. It's not only so, uh, medical people and sociology people, social work people, but Mr. Mahalonobis, whom you know, uh, was, who was very close uh, to the uh, first prime minister of India, and the inventor of the five years plan, he invited Mr. Moreno to come to India to deliver talks. So the first journey of Mr. Moreno was planned, was, uh, sorry, some of you might not know Mr. Moreno. J.L. Moreno is the founder of Psychodrama, sorry. And um, so Mr. Moreno was invited in 1962 to come to India. I had direct contact with the daughter of Mr. Moreno, she's still alive, and the son. And both confirmed that they have no idea that Moreno or his wife had any contact to India, which is fully untrue. They had a lot of contact. There are more than 400 typed and handwritten letters between the Morenos and Indian experts like Mahalo The next person of interest that is uh, Mr. Dr. Satya Nand. Sometimes he calls himself Satya, sometimes Nand, sometimes Satya Nand. The founder, one of the founders of uh, AIMS in New Delhi, and he founded the Psychiatry Institute. And he learned from Mr. Moreno in 1964 in, in Beacon himself. So there, mm -hmm. are, there are early trainees who learned from the Morenos and brought some idea of psychodrama. And uh, Satya Nand brought the idea of uh, social uh, psychiatry to India from that uh, meeting. Uh, sorry. Um, there are some dozens of letters and uh, um, Nant found that psychodrama is quite helpful for the useful means for primary prevention. Did you know that Mr. Moreno had a son-in-law from India? See, he came from Kerala. It was the first by, uh, husband of uh, um, Regina Moreno, the first daughter of Mr. Moreno. So Mrs. Moreno's daughter married an Indian 
So Mr. Moreno had half Indian grandchildren. <laughs> That's very funny. Everyone knows that they are half Indian grandchildren, but they don't think about it. So this Mr. Matthew, who came to United States uh, and had been a researcher there and a professor in the end, he is a friend of whom of K.K. Anand. Yeah. So K.K. Anand, in fact, he studied quite a lot, mostly with Serka. And as the Morenos couldn't come to India by Mahalo Nobis in 1962, Anand invited in 1967 Matthew, that is his friend, Regine, that is the daughter of Mr. Moreno, and Miriam, that is Miriam, a professor in Canada, now to come to India in 1967 and hoped that um, Mr. and Mrs. Moreno, J.L. Moreno and Sergio Moreno joined them. A.K. Anand had been several times to IIMA, uh, to a beacon, as a place where Mr. Moreno uh, 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 had been teaching. And uh, K.K. Anand, of course, is the founder of that meeting, why we are here together. Uh, so this is, then afterwards, they had been through Anand and through Gork. You will get the presentation soon to read it all. I, 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 there's a lot of words and some letters. You get the presentation, soon my book will be published. And you get a summary, which I've written for uh, the journal, which will be published uh, soon. So both of them, they said, it's very important for group learning. And Gog was the first who called it regular psychodrama, what he did. Pudding Gog. Oh, sorry. In 1974, Mr. Moreno planned to have a Congress at Mumbai. And of course, to come for this Congress, the International Congress of Psychodrama. The only issue was he died in 74, so he didn't come. But there was a plan of having a Congress in 1974. If all of us see, I, I started learning psychodrama in 2002, and many of you started much earlier. And uh, uh, one said, I started in 1977. That is when I not even finished my school. But in 1974, Moreno planned to come to India together um, uh, in invitation of Professor Desai, head of department of uh, sociology. The summary, on 1952, when, Maureen, uh, when psychodrama came to India until 1974. So the social science and the sociometric approach had been of uh, great interest for social scientists and workers in India. Psychiatry was uh, quite well influenced by Govinda Sami and Nand. So the idea of role play, stage work, modeling life situations and the social psychiatry impact of group psychotherapy. So the idea had been when people act their life stories out, it will help them to recreate their lives and uh, through creativity find more health. And it started to get used by Parekh Anand and uh, putting Gork by ISAPS later by Sumedas and ISD uh, for the educational and training and group. So now, as Moreno passed away, we have still some slides on what happened after Moreno. The first slide uh, is about putting Gork, and he had a meta lab from ISISD in 1954. So on this, there had been, uh, and you can find it at the Sumeras homepage, you can find how he organized that, what he called psychodramas. In fact, I would not call it psychodrama, I would call it sociodrama, because it was pre-prepared and everyone had a clear-cut role and could not change the role too much. Yeah? So it's more sociodrama, but it's also very valuable. So he had some ideas. People ask, where did he learn? Oh, sorry. No. People ask, where did he learn? So I asked several people who must know, who knew him very well. I just, Swastika introduced me. Uh, is he here? No, he is not here, Swastika. Yes, no, Sushant is not here. He's not here. So I spoke to a um, close friend of him, and no, he did not, he did not disclose it to anyone from where he learned psychotherapy. But it had not been Mr. or Mrs. Moreno themselves. 
It had to be some person from the West Coast. Maybe even it could be that it had been a person, uh, a book, not a person. But never mind. He seemingly was a genius in many things. So um, one has to honor that. And we have, I just added a slide today, um, Swastika and Fudra. As, we, um, as Indira spoke yesterday, as the beginning of the conference, Indira started to get uh, interested in psychodrama quite early. And when she came to know that Primula Pandit from Mumbai regularly goes to Beacon to the United States to study psychodrama, they considered to have common workshops with IIMA in 1995. I found, you see this letters, um, so far it's a fresh research, which is especially impactful for ISAPS because it is, uh, it is connecting dots to what happened in that time. And I'm sorry that it didn't continue as, as much as, as it could. But, um, and Primula Pandit, who is Primula Pandit? This is this lady you see in the center of the, of the, um, of the picture. You see a, a lady, and that is Serka Moreno. And behind her is Mr. Douglas. Is anyone in the room who learned from Douglas? Swastika, you did learn from Douglas, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so Douglas was Swedish, and next to Douglas, in the very back, there is one um, lady, and that is Primula Pandit from Mumbai. She was an artist and a potter, and Primula Pandit, she studied psychodrama from 1996 to 2001. In fact, she is the first so-called certified practitioner and psychodrama director who studied for 780 hours, most of it with uh, Saka Moreno, the wife of Mr. Moreno uh, himself, uh, herself. And uh, she got uh, her degree in 1996 from Douglas and Savita, who had been workshops. And they founded, Saka Moreno and others founded the Moreno Institute of India. The problem with uh, Primula, she was not very organized. So I think um, psychodrama would have had a better start if, uh, if Indira or the people around her from Ahmedabad. But Douglas was very much in love with Mumbai, which his partner uh, uh, expressed. So there was no way, uh, like psychodrama didn't move uh, too, too far from that point. But um, the Mantan organization, and I'm so happy that Pooja gave me that book, which is still here, Mantam organization, they gave the first printout of talks of Sabita and Douglas. And it's the first printed book, Indian book from 1997 from Ahmedabad on psychotherapy. And there had been quite a number of workshops, which especially Sabita Davan, there you see her uh, young with a lot of hairs, uh, hairs are still there. Um, but it's uh, now 25 years more. Uh, so Savita Darwan, who is a trainer, educational and practitioner, which is the highest level of psychodrama, together with Life Dark Blomquist called Davis, they conducted these different workshops in India. And uh, that is, thank you, that is all. That is just 15 minutes to warm you up and uh, to explain a little bit more what psychodrama had been in the past. And I ask you now to, um, to discuss. Um, I guess stop it. We are already at. Uh, uh, we are already late. late. Hmm? Yeah, we are already uh, a little late. A little late. late. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you want to take, a, take one question, if at all? Uma, you said you had been one of the earliest, 1977. Can you show your face and tell us? Ah, uh, Uma is not. Okay, so one question or one contribution must not be a question. Meanwhile, you think about your question, I summarize psychodrama has a 75 year old history and existence in India, which had been underdeveloped because of many reasons. And the main reason is that psychodrama had not been Indianized. It had come as a Western idea, mainly psychotherapeutical idea, and we should do it differently now. There should be a lot of Indian trainers, not Western trainers, 
which high with uh, flight costs. So I'm a half Indian. You don't see it in my skin, but uh, I lived more than 15 years in India now, and my heart is quite very much Indian. But um, you will only believe that psychodrama is Indian if the trainers will be Indian. And I'm so happy with Swastika, Rashmi, and Pucha, and some five others who are training now others that uh, psychodrama became Indian. Is any contribution from your side? That is just the history part before we start to go into action. Okay, so uh, Uma, you want, Uma, can you say, tell us your, your remembrance of psychodrama? Well, I, uh, I saw and experienced Pulin doing it uh, in some of the labs that I attended with him. Mm. And uh, what I understand, and I haven't really, believe me, uh, gone further with learning about psychodrama ever, uh, because I seem to have adopted a very different way of working in groups okay. and have firm beliefs about it as of now. But uh, the experience is that when I am talking, particularly when I talked about some of the things, uh, some of the pent up uh, experiences and feelings about my childhood in relation to my parents, uh, Polin and Indira was also working with him. They would go behind me and uh, voice the feelings which I was mm. unable to voice myself yeah. because yeah. at that time my language was not very highly developed uh, mm. and I was more in person. So, yeah. and that would um, speak to me and what my experience was and it would lead to a kind of a cathartic uh, experience, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that's yeah. one thing I remember. Uh, so it's uh, assisting, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, helping to voice emotions. And we call it doubling, doubling the trainer. We, now we don't go behind the person because it's a little scary if a person is behind. Yeah. But we go next to the person, shoulder to shoulder, and we express in words what the person might feel, yeah, before the person is explaining it in words. So this helps the emotional discovery. And the other thing is a role reverse. We help people to uh, step in the shoes of the other. These are the two most important parts of um, psychodrama. We will go now to, ex thank you, Uma, so much. Thank you. And we will go now to experience psychodrama in a half hour um, a workshop, but we cannot experience this in such a large group. We just go in subgroups. And I ask you all for this part, it's very important to have a certain safety and you need to have your camera on. If you don't have your camera on, please refrain from participating and, uh, and wait a little bit uh, somewhere else. Uh, but try to be present with camera on. It's very important for the safety of the person. So we need three people in this in this groups. We need some people who would like to explore into one professional issue, either in your own company where you work or in your counseling experience. What is the issue? What are you experiencing? We have excellent trainers who are on the same level like me and even higher swastika and puja. And there are much more trainers in India from whom you can learn what is psychodrama. So this is just today a little bit to explain. And after the 30 minutes, you will have still time to discuss and ask questions. And those who want to know more, they can read my book, which I wrote, Fundamentals of Psychodrama, just published last year by Springer in uh, Delhi. Swastika, can you? Yeah. Yes, I'll do that. Uh, Joachim, there are a couple of questions on the chat. Will you address them yeah. later? Yeah, we uh, will. One is about the difference between, yeah. Yeah, we will, uh, um, we will uh, uh, explain on uh, some of the questions and uh, it's it's good idea. And and I, I will explain on psychodrama and socio, uh, sociodrama a little later. But first we will do now a, psycho, a, a psychodrama in three subgroups for 30 minutes or 25 minutes whatsoever until the time is over. Yeah, 
to work with. Your credit yeah. card. If you have an issue to work with, Karthik raised his hand. No, 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 no. In the sub group, please. In the sub group. Yeah. Yeah. I'm opening out the room. Good to see you, Jagruti. I'm thinking the same. So we will be in the same room. Uh, Roshni, can you send him? Can you send, uh, can you move Kiran to one of the rooms? What about Ankit? Ankit, are you there? Now Ankit went. Okay. Hi, Kiran, how are you? So I'm fine, excited what is happening and I went in one room and came back. So I don't know if it happened. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do that. Roshni will do that. Yeah. Roshni, you are okay? Oh, gone. Are you okay? You're looking tired, is it? Yeah, yeah, I just came home. Oh, all the way going here and there. Multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> have some, have some water, uh, something. Yes, yes. By the time they come Relax. back from the breakout rooms. Yeah. Relax yourself for some time. Yes, yes.
Okay. Yeah. And uh, Swastika, can you tell us in one yeah, sentence? So, yes, we worked on the whole uh, aspect of the emphasis on task versus relationship. Yeah. And we just began the conversation between boss and employee. Yeah. Okay. So I think we have um, eight minutes left or 13 minutes left. How much many minutes we have left? Uh, Jay, can you tell us? Seven minutes. Seven minutes left. So we don't have 10, we have just seven. To speak a little bit about your experience, your considerations on what you experienced. It was just a half an hour, a short presentation, a little bit on psychodrama. You can either write your questions or your comments in the chat, which I would encourage, or you can raise your hands and just speak. So what's the question in the chat between sociodrama and psychodrama? Psychodrama is more interaction between two or maximum three people. And, and sociodrama is if a group, all of them work at the same time and they get a certain task to work out together, but it's not their real life task. Yeah. Any, any comments or anything which you want to add more techniques. The techniques are the role reverse, the doubling, the surplus reality. And I have to confess that I wrote a book on 350 pages, which will be not enough, neither for six minutes, not, not for 66, but we have a six years educational program on that. But uh, the book is available. If you just get my name and uh, psychodrama, you will find it. Yeah. It is role playing, Zapana, but it's a little bit more role uh, than role playing. It feels real. Yes, this is quite a difference. It feels a little bit more real than what you expect it to be. Yeah, Poonam, you had been one in, of, in one of the groups. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. I was in Puja's group. Great, great. Yeah. So I believe uh, we are coming to an end of this meeting. And when we change our role to the other, we, yes, Tria, we, we become more empathetic. So mostly I have worked now with 3,000 medical doctors, 400 of them in India, and they need empathy. They are so knowledgeable. They are so great, but they don't have empathy and they don't listen to their uh, patients. And I teach uh, patients listening, <laughs> listening to patients, not make the patients listening, but themselves <laughs> and uh, I teach them how to handle difficult issues. Yeah, um, Psychodrama can be effective in so many, in education, I use it mostly in education and in so many things. So I give it back to you, Poonam, to say, uh, maybe I don't know the custom, but okay. there will be a custom to say a final word, Poonam, yeah. in the last sure. minute. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. You can, uh, Puja and Swastika. Um, Jokin, thanks very much for firstly giving us, uh, you know, presenting the historical perspective. Uh, I thought it was very interesting to learn about, uh, you know, the whole development of psychodrama and uh, the involvement of so many Indian behavioral scientists who we all know and we are all work with and, you know, we hold them in high esteem. And uh, having gone through two workshops on psychodrama, I had no clue about uh, this part. And it was uh, very interesting to know this development, uh, this historical perspective. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, uh, I was with Puja in, uh, in her group. And um, I, I must say in uh, 20 minutes, Puja did a remarkable job of, uh, you know, addressing an issue and uh, actually having Karthik uh, come to terms with himself, which was really remarkable in such a short time. And I think um, perhaps in Swastika's group also, it must have happened and in yours as well. Uh, this was just to get the tip of the iceberg, I think, as far as psychodrama is concerned. But uh, I would believe that it has kindled a lot of interest in many of us to probe further because it's an amazing technique and technology to understand yourself, understand other people, understand relationships. Um, uh, of course, it's, it may sound, seem very simple, but it's not. 
um, in the last two years, uh, since uh, last year, uh, April, you can, uh, we've had a psychodrama uh, group, which was working online, uh, spearheaded by Sunita Stug. You, you must be knowing about it. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. involved in that. And uh, we would take turns to, you know, try and uh, uh, practice psychodrama online. And it was tough. It was very tough. Uh, so there's a lot of, in, uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a proper technique of doing this. And I think uh, going through a course or a workshop definitely helps because it's not as easy as it seems. Uh, well, I'd like to thank you, Yokin, for being with us. It's really, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful to have a person like you with us. He's really a stalwart in psychodrama and I think we're very privileged mm -hmm. to have you with us. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Swastika. Um, yeah. I would have loved to have my two feet in both with you and Puja, but that was not possible. <laughs> Maybe another time. You. Yes. Yeah, yeah, another time. And thank you, Puja. Uh, that was really nice to be with you, Puja, and uh, see how you did it so effortlessly. Okay, uh, I already see Jake uh, um, um, <laughs> putting the fingers on his nose. That means our time is over. We are three minutes after time. Oh, I don't yeah. know, Jay. Are we, are we available to give no. Rajin, who no. raised his hand? No, we, we, have, have, we have another two minutes. Yeah, oh, we have two another two minutes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Puna, I'm sorry. Yes. It is 24, 25. Oh, great. You see, my time in that's Germany is different. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, that's why I'm rambling. Uh, oh, I'm great, have, Poonam. It's 7.25. Okay, so thanks Super. very much. And thank you, uh, audience. I think without you, it would not have been possible because your involvement and your spontaneous uh, response to, at least in Puja's workshop, there were four or five of you who volunteered. And I think that was marvelous and helped her. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Good night.